Hans, 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 Hans. Look, I went to Primark and they had chokers with letters on. Well, I got an H, didn't I? Yeah, I know my name's Imogen. I know my name's Imogen, but I got it for honeys. Cause we're all honeys. We all need one of these two pounds. Little double choker, H for honeys. Huns. On that note, hello honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now then, my name's Imogen, I just told you, but yay, my name's Imogen, and thank you so much for joining me. I don't know how you found me, but please, 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 oh, <clears throat> got too excited there. Please, please, please stay, hit the subscribe button and join my family of Huns. I'm a Hun, you're my Huns. Honeys, cute, and I really hope that anyone else wants to be a hunter. Please hit the subscribe button. Today I have a really, really exciting video, which I'm gonna try and hold back the emotions. I really am gonna try and hold back the emotions, but I've shared this with you on my vlog channel, but I want to share it with you here because I am now a Beauty Bay ambassador. I can't even believe it. Oh God, <laughs> I knew I'd cry. Like, I said to myself, don't. I just filmed this makeup look and I was buzzing and then all of a sudden I start talking about it and I cry. But I'm crying because I can't believe it. I can't believe that I am a Beauty Bay ambassador. I have watched makeup tutorials I've bought from Beauty Bay for so long. I have literally, even before I started YouTube, I used to watch videos of all these YouTubers and watch them buy stuff from Beauty Bay and I was like, oh my god, Beauty Bay is amazing. And now I can say that I'm an ambassador and I just... <laughs> I'm just so grateful and I need to take this time and this opportunity to say it's all because of you. I have to say thank you because without you I wouldn't be doing this, without you I wouldn't be here and supporting me, loving me unconditionally, everything you do for me on a daily basis it never goes unnoticed. Honestly you all are my inspiration, you inspire me every single day, you are the reason I am so happy 24-7 because you are all so amazing. <sighs> So yeah, thank you so much. Without you, this opportunity would never ever be in front of me. So I hope that you know that I love you all so much. I hope you know I'm grateful. I hope that you know that I wanna give back to all of you. I promise you I'm gonna be doing more meetups. I'm gonna be doing more giveaways. I'm gonna be giving back to my angels as much as I can. And I hope that I can provide a YouTube space that's an escapism for all of you to come here and just be happy and have a bit of a, a long, maybe long videos, I don't know. I'll try and keep them short, I promise, but I don't know if I can promise that actually because I do talk for England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, the whole of the world. Anyway, this is so exciting that I'm a beauty brand ambassador. One of the main things I think they're so amazing for is that they support new and emerging brands and I feel like it's a perfect fit because yes I am new and emerging I hope I still continue to emerge and I feel like they have that much faith in me I haven't even been doing YouTube for a year that they want to work with me so not only I think they're amazing because they support new and emerging brands but I think they're amazing for supporting me I'm so grateful that they have this much faith in supporting me just like you do so thank you thank you thank you so much if you want to watch how I created this makeup look with a full face of first impressions from Beauty Bay then just keep watching how exciting is this I am obsessed with this makeup look. When you see my reaction to these products, I can't deal. We have a little bit of a struggle along the way with one product, but you'll see that. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. If you want to see story times, if you want to see me make a little bit of a fool of myself at some point in this video, then just keep watching. P.S. P.P.P.S. No, P.S. I've created this makeup look with Beauty Bay. Creating a makeup look which empowers me. I wanted to explain this a little bit, just a tiny bit. I'm all about empowering other angels. Like, we need to empower each other. We need to raise and praise each other. Today, I've created this makeup look that empowers me. Do you know why? I am learning new tricks and new amazing things to do with makeup, and I I absolutely love painting my face. It's an art form, I love it so much. And I went with this look that empowers me today because I don't think I'm that amazing at halo eyes. It's a work in progress and I don't normally do a halo eye. So I felt empowered to do a halo eye today because I'm branching out of my comfort zone. And that's what I wanna encourage you all to do. Whether it's not wearing makeup, whether it's wearing makeup, whether it's wearing a bold lip and no eye makeup, whether it's wearing really dark eye makeup and really dark lips, you do whatever you want. I want to encourage you to do that. If it's going out with a bare face, if that empowers you, do it. So this makeup look empowers me because it's something which is out of my comfort zone. And I feel like I'm really proud of myself because I feel like I really like the finished product. I did a halo eye. Something I'm not the most amazing at, but I did it. And that empowers me. So I want you to tell me in the comment section below what makeup look inspires you. Whether it's no makeup, whether it's a halo eye. If it is cute, I want you to recreate something that empowers you and tag me in it. Sorry about the long introduction, but if you want to see how I got this makeup look with full face of first impressions, I'm so shook. I'm so shook. Also, I'll let you know how it lasts in the description, but if you want to see how I got this makeup look, I love you so much. Keep watching. Thanks again. Thanks again for this opportunity. I love you all so much. Okay, so my hands, we're close now. We're so close. I feel like I prefer this distance because I feel a lot closer to my angels. So, first of all, yes, I've already taken the nib off here. Nib or tip? Hmm, okay, so I'm going to take the Nabla Brow Define in Neptune. So I've never actually heard of Nabla before until now, so Beauty Bay, thanks my hunts for introducing me to brows. Well, I'm going to thank you if I like it, so hopefully I will. Okay, let's brush up with the spoolie. 
I will forever find that word cute. And let's just go straight in with this. So I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna touch the front of the brow angels, not yet anyway. And then we're just gonna draw a little line, chilling. And then we're gonna go up the top here, chilling. What I have worked out with brow pencils is, the lighter the hand, the happier we are. Not the happier we are, but the lighter you are with it, the more you can gradually build up. If I go in ham and I'm like, you know, it's quite difficult to take it away. You've just got to wipe the whole thing off. So soft and gentle does the trick. Oh, honestly, angels, I can't even explain to you how happy I am to be on here talking to you. Let's go to the front before I start going off on tangents. I can't explain to you how happy I am that I get to speak to you and come on here and talk to you. Happy little Sunday, angels. It's not sunny in the slightest. It's not a sunny Sunday, but we're going to pretend it's sunny. Let's pretend it's sunny. What's everyone up to on this sunny Sunday? Not sunny. It might be sunny where you are, I don't know, but it's not sunny where I am. Okay, then we're just going to brush up at the front, very lightly, and we're just going to draw a really soft, faint line there. Lovely colour, this. Very ashy, not too warm-toned. Nabla in Neptune. Go on then, Nabla Cosmetics. Okay, I've got a question for my Huns then. I've got a very big question for my Huns. This is one of my favourite questions to ask. It's not really my favourite question, but it's a good question. It's not even a good question. Anyway, what is your least favourite weather? Mine has to be, 110%, has to be the wind. Has to be the wind. Rain. I can protect myself in the umbrella. Sun. Love and life. Don't worry about that one. Don't worry about wind. Wind. Blows your eyelashes off, your hair's all over the shop, your makeup, your eyes are streaming. Wind. Wind. Just not a fan. Listen, that nabla. I'm loving life. It's very, very creamy and easy to blend out. Nice colour as well, don't you think? Colour match wise. All right. Okay, then I'm going to take this. The Art Deco Clear Lash and Brow Gel. Oi oi. Oi to the oi oi. Yeah, oi oi. Quite a large wand, but we're going in with it. Normally I use a colour on my brows, but do you know what? I'm going with something a little bit softer, a little bit daintier, like my hair. Don't you think I look dainty and cute? Oh, without, oh, without all the flyaway bits. <laughs> oh. I'm like, don't you think I look dainty and cute? And then I've just got flyaway bits just chilling everywhere. Oh, and a piece of hair. Piece of my dog's hair. Apparently my dog thinks I don't have enough eyebrow hairs. Just wanted to give me another one. Oh, that's a nice brow gel. Makes them look very fibrous. Is that a word? No. Like a lot of fibres. <laughs> oh, do you hear that noise, by the way? Sometimes when I laugh, I sound like a dolphin. I'm like... <laughs> little dolphin emo. Cute. Cute. Then, Huns, don't worry about me. I have done a trick today. Not really that much of a trick, but I got this from RCMA. Can you see that? Cream contour, cream foundation, concealer, colour corrector, all in one palette from RCMA. Loving it. So I'm going to use this for foundation, I'm going to use this for concealer, cream contour, and to carve out those brows. And also, set our lid. Babes, don't worry about me. Order in one product for everything. Okay, I'm going to take this colour for my eyebrow. I'm just going to take any angled brush and just go straight underneath there. I do it quite quickly. You should probably be a bit more precise if you really want to cut them brows, but I'm going for something a little bit natural. I think this colour is a really nice colour. It's really soft, but sometimes I find with pomade, they make your eyebrow look more defined, but with eyebrow pencils, I find they make your brow look a little bit more natural. Like I'm buzzing off this brow right now. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Obviously, everything I use today, I'm going to list below, and also in the description, stay tuned to the description, I'm going to let you know exactly how this lasts, how it wears, how it lasts, how we love life. I'm just going to go straight in with my damp beauty blender and pat that all over my lid. I'm obsessed with RCMA powder, the no colour powder, the translucent powder. So the fact that they've brought out this, got an itchy nose, always get an itchy nose under the lights. So the fact they brought out this, how buzzing is Imogen? Very buzzing. To be fair, I'm always buzzing when I talk to my angels. I'm always buzzing in general, I'm just a happy person. Take, oh, I get it around the right way. Then we're going to take the palette of dreams. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. It's not a first impressions for this palette. I'm sorry, I lied. I never lied to my angels, but it's not a first impressions, but it's a first time doing this makeup look. So kind of a first impressions, is it? Probably not. I love you. I'm gonna take the Morphe Taper Blending Brush and just take this shadow. It's called Okie Dokie, and we're just gonna pat that all over our lid. That's just gonna set that wonderful RCMA, very good coverage, concealer, slash foundation, slash cream contour. Slash Imo's favourite palette. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to go into Bomb Diggity and Cray Cray. Bomb Diggity and Cray Cray. And we're going to use the same brush and we're just going to go into our Creasy Crew. Our little Creasy Crew Crew. Do you know what I mean? No, but going back to being a happy person, I had a, a day the other day, which we don't need to go into, my angels, because it's done now. But I had a day the other day which was extremely difficult. Probably, hmm, oh, I'm not going to get emotional. 
no I won't. It was probably one of the most difficult days I've had my whole 24 years of life, not saying that you know 24 years is a long time but it was definitely the most difficult, the hardest day. What happened on that day will definitely change the rest of my life, 100%. However, had a bit of a cry, cried it out and then I realised, you know what, I've got stuff to do. I've got life to do, I've got my life to get on with, I've got my life to push forward with, I've got dreams to chase, I've got people that I love and you have days and you think you can't really see the light. But I took some time and I realised I've got so many positives to think about in my life. I've got all of you and you are the most amazing positives in the world and I think to myself, you have to focus on the positive, you have to try and find it, even if it feels so minuscule at the time. You might think, there is no positive in this situation. I promise you, dig deep, dig deep, find one, even if it's tiny and think, do you know what, I went through that because I was meant to face that and I was meant to find this out. And honestly, it's so true, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Whatever you go through, you're like, actually, I'm gonna pick myself up from this and I'm gonna keep going and it'll change you, it'll make you a stronger person. You'll think to yourself, I looked at that day and I thought, I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of myself, I got through it. And look at me now, I'm here. I got through it. At the time you think everything's crumbling, your world's crumbling, and then you're like, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna pick myself up, and I'm gonna be the happy person that I am, the positive person that I am. Okay. I'm gonna take Kiki, that's what I'm gonna take. This is a very simple eye makeup look, but I'm obsessed with this palette, I'm obsessed with this palette. We're just gonna put this on the outer V, outer V, I never know what to call it, and on the inner corner as well, creating that halo eye, just building this up. Why do my makeup tutorials always turn into like some sort of, I don't know, I'm trying to inspire and... Sometimes when we're in a situation, we always think we're the only person going through it, but you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not the only person going through it. And always think to yourself, there is someone that has it so much worse than me. I always think to myself, Imogen, come on, come off it. Pick yourself up, fix up, look sharp, because there is a million people, there's seven billion people in this world. There are so many people that are going through so much worse than me. So I have to focus on positives and you have to pick yourself up. And then you look at it at the end of the day and you're like, actually I got through it. I didn't think I would, but I got through it. And you can be so proud of yourself. You're like, yes, I did it. Sorry to go off on that tangent, but it's so true. Like everyone's fighting a battle. We just don't know about it. Everyone is fighting a battle on a daily basis. Just because they don't talk about it doesn't mean they're not going through something. Understand that you're not alone, angels. Just wanted to tell my angels that. Very proud of myself. I was like, do you know what, Imo? You're a very positive girl. If I can make at least one of you happier in your life and feel more positive, then I'll feel so happy in my life. It'll make me feel even happier. The trick with the halo eyes, to go back in with the brush you used at the very beginning and just keep blending out that line so there's no harsh line. And you can also go back into the colour you use as your transition and just keep blending that up together. But these shadows do it for you kind of thing. This Laura Lee palette, loving her life, she is. Because she's created a bomb diggity palette. See what I did there? One of the shades is called bomb diggity, I don't know. And when you look like you've been punched in the face. <laughs> no, but we are going to clean this up. Don't worry about it, Hans. Watch at the end. I'm hoping it looks good. I'm hoping it looks good. You've probably already seen it. Okay, I'm going to take any small tapered brush. And I'm going to take the Mario Badesco facial spray. Because you know about that life. We'd be loving this. Spray that. Even though you don't even need to spray it. Because I'm telling you... This palette is so pigmented. Then we're gonna take this colour, which is Scatterbrain, which is me, and we're just gonna pat that. Oh, Hans, can you see that? I've sprayed all of the Maribadesco on the actual mirror. I can't see what I'm doing. We're gonna just pat this on the centre. Look at that, Pigment City. You can use your finger, you know, because if you wanna just, yeah, look. Sometimes your finger actually just works better using those tools we didn't even need to pay for. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Blend out the edges with that colour again. Just keep doing that and building up the colour. But I've got to tell you about this Uber driver, right? So basically, I had this Uber driver and um, bless him, I said, oh, pick me up from Starbucks. I put it for Starbucks, blah, 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 and I was going to Beauty Bay to film. This is in Manchester. Anyway, he was calling me, but I didn't know he was calling me because my phone was on silent. So I kept looking at the Uber app and he wasn't outside. So, because I'm, I'm on it, like, if I know the Uber's going to be outside, I'm not going to leave him outside chilling, like waiting for me, do you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't need to wait for a baby girl. He don't need to wait for no baby girl. So anyway, I got in the Uber, right? I was like, oh, for Imogen. He was like, yeah, for Imogen. I've been waiting for you. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, sorry. He'd been waiting for about a minute. And then I was like, yeah, I know. And he was like, I was calling you. Did you not want to pick up? He was like some jealous boyfriend. I was like, babes, I didn't see your call. If I'd seen your call, I would have picked up. I wasn't ignoring you. I need the cab. Like, I needed the taxi. It wasn't like I'd order the Uber, like, just for a joke. Like, wait, I'm just going to order the Uber, then wait, make him wait outside. What? I was like. I was really trying to, I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, babe. Like, I would never just ignore your call. I actually had to say that to him. I actually said to him, I would never ignore your call. As if he is some baby boy of mine, do you know what I mean? I'm just very content and happy in my life at the moment. And I feel like when I'm meant to meet baby prince, I'll meet baby prince. But he definitely won't be that Uber driver. I'm telling you that. Why didn't you pick up my call after one minute? <laughs> 
Kayla eyes that they look so different on every single person. I'm just gonna take all of the, not that I've done makeup on anyone else ever in my life except my mum. Sometimes I do my friends makeup, but I'm not very good, I don't think. I don't trust myself on other people. Like, I like my makeup. I'm like, yeah, that looks sick. But if I was to do it on someone else, but my mum does love it when I do her makeup. I might do a little halo eye on my mum. But yeah, halo eyes look so different on everyone else because they have different eye shapes, they have different eye colours. So, also, I have a crease, so I go above the crease, by the way, just so it sits nicer. We're going to complete the bottom of the eye. I know, we're changing things up today. We're doing it in a different order. So I'm going to go underneath with the same colour we used earlier, and then I'll put some lashes on, sort out the other eye, and then we can do our base. I'm a little bit nervous to use this as my base, contour, and concealer, but I'm not going to lie to you, Huns. It feels really full coverage. Like, really full coverage. Like, a little bit goes a long way. Like, I literally just picked up the littlest bit, and I'm like, I'll be covered. I'll be covered. But then for below, we're literally going to do the exact same steps. I know. Simple. Simple makeup looks with imagination. <laughs> did you just call yourself imagination? Yeah, you did, babes. Gonna go on the edge there and on the inner corner, and then we're gonna whack in the pigment on the inside. I really like this eye makeup look. You know what? It reminds me of something like Egyptian. Egyptian vibes. Is it Egyptian vibes in the slightest imagen? Probably not. Do you feel like an Egyptian wearing it? Yeah. Y yeah, I do. <laughs> makeup takes my angels the longest because I'm not gonna lie to you for me it's the eyes it's the eyebrows as well like it's the eyebrows that's why some baby girls who get their eyes microbladed not their eyes their eyebrows microbladed is that right eyebrows microbladed yeah I hope it is. Oh gosh yeah it's microblading they just wake up and their brows are on fleek and that's it I wouldn't mind that you know I wouldn't mind that you know this in a corner bit you don't need to do this by the way you don't need to put the halo on the bottom but I feel like it just makes your eyes look like it does look a little bit crazy right now because we haven't got any of my lashes on or anything like that, but just wait. Promise you, I'll make this work. Have faith. I gotta have faith. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. Baby, I know I'm asking you to stay. Say please, please, please don't go away. Cause I'm giving you the moon, babe. Stop. Just stop. Oh, we're gonna take the Giordana Easy Liner for eyes, retractable. I have never used a retractable soft liner pencil like this, so Giordana, babes, you better come through for Imo. Is there any attractive way of doing liner? Look at those facials. You didn't see that, because that's good. I cut my mouth off. Gosh, those facials, Imogen. Okay, then I'm gonna do the other eye and put my lashes on, and we should be loving life. These lashes, I'm really excited to try, because they're my favorite brand, but I've never tried these ones. These are the Unicorn Lashes Unicorn Flutter because we be unicorns, and if anyone tells you any different than babes, tell them. Imogen will come tell them that we are unicorns. Okay, I'm gonna do my lashes and do the other one, and then I'll come back. I love you. I always say I miss you already, but actually, you see me because I just cut it, don't I, so. Oh, Imogen. Buns, I'm buzzing. Like, I've got no foundation or any base or anything yet, but I'm living the dream. I love this eye makeup look. I think it makes my eyes really popping. Like, I need to go out now, don't I? I always do this, I do my makeup. Oh, what's this little bit chilling? I need to sort my hair out if I'm going out. <laughs> I need to sort my hair out if I'm going out, mate, you know what I mean? But I'm absolutely obsessed, I'm obsessed. And I'll tell you one thing which I love, this brow gel. It's like, I felt it earlier and I was like, well that's set then. Everything about this, these lashes, I like them because they're really elongated, they make me look quite dull like unicorn flutter, you know about that life, but they're also thin, but still long and still 3D. That way you can see the halo eye, because you know sometimes you have really big lashes, you can't really see the halo eye, but now you can. Now you can. Hey. I know this isn't a first impression, I'm sorry I love you, but I just have to, I just had to refill it, because look at it, it's my favorite thing in the whole world, like, I needed to buy another one. So it's like a first impression, because I haven't used it for a long time, and it's a new one, so, Let's pretend it's the first one, because I don't even remember. No, of course I remember. Oh, it's the most hydrating primer, I swear down. My life, swear down. Probably put too much on, don't I? It's the nicest thing on my skin. Steeler, mate. Steeler. Oh, I love this primer. I'm just going to sit here loving this primer. Should we just stop here? That's the makeup look finished, because we're just going to love our life with this primer. <laughs> My camera battery died, so I went downstairs and made myself a little hot cross bun. The gluten-free ones are back in Marks and Spencer's. Oh, if anyone knows me and knows my old videos, I love you. Thanks for staying with me, but... Mm. Obsessed! Okay, now let's do the foundation if I've got hot cross bun all over my face. I'm going to go into this colour, the RCMA foundation thing. The foundation palette. And we're just going to whack this all over our face. Listen, the coverage of this foundation is unreal. And you get so many different shades. Some for when you're a little bit tanned on holiday. Oh, okay. Imagine I found my new favorite foundation and it's in a palette. How cute. I actually can't wait to try this one all over my face, like with concealer, contour. 
Wait, the coverage on this is insane. You use the tiniest bit and you live in the dream. Loving your life. It's like a little bit dewy, it's not matte, it's not too dewy. Oh, CMA! They came out with powders and now they've come out with foundation! I don't think I can even explain to you how much I love this foundation so far. I can't wait to see how it sits and stays, but look at it. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing like a little bumblebee. Oh, I call you my honeybees and we're buzzing little honeybees. Cute. Take a foundation brush and I'm going to go to that light shade we used earlier. The tiniest bit goes a long way. Oh. Honestly, this is so soft and easy to blend out, but full coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. Well, up close it doesn't look cakey, so I'm hoping it doesn't look cakey on camera. Wouldn't it just be so much easier, Angels, if you were just sitting on the bed in front of me? Because then we could just all just chat about this makeup. I love doing testing videos because I get to try out new products, but also I get to be with you. However, I would like it more if you were all here. And we can just chat and I can be like, listen, Huns, we're going to do this together. Huns, I'm not just saying this, I think I found my favourite foundation. Whee! <laughs> I get so excited when I find something new that I love. Okay, now what we're going to do to contour and warm up our faces. Take these two colours here. Those two? Yeah, let's go with those two. I love the fact that I can just make different decisions because there's so much in this palette. And then we're just going to give ourselves a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, see? I didn't even need to dig that deep because a little goes a very long way with this palette, angels. Beauty Bay for stocking RCMA. I love you. I remember ages ago I watched Kathleen Lights and Kathleen Lights was like, oh... I love RCMA No Colour Powder. And I went online and we didn't sell it in the UK and I was like, no, why? And then I realised Beauty Bay stocked it. I was like, Beauty Bay's a lad. Look at that colour, it's so warm and nice. And they've got cool tone browns in this palette. They've got two different colour palettes as well. It feels so light on my skin, but also full coverage. Honestly, it feels so light. It feels like I'm blending out like a moisturiser. Soz, everything else needs to move out of the way. Well, it's going to be my favourite at the end of the day when I tell you exactly how it's lasted. I'll let you know in the description, but... Oh my goodness. Stun, hun. So stun, hun, mate. Stun, hun. Stun on that, hun. Yes, my little stun, huns. How cute. Do you get it? Stunning, honey, these. Cute. Of course you got it. Stun is just short for stunning. Well done, Imogen. You didn't need to explain that. My face looks warm. I look like I've got dewiness. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup up close. Obsessed. I just picked up my phone because I wanted to check what it looked like in the selfie mirror, you know, in the selfie camera, and I was like, I'm shook, like this base, I'm shook. Okay, let's take this. I'm really excited to try this. This is the Mystifying Mattifying Lunatic Cosmetic Labs High Definition Micro Finish Pressed Powder. But look, it's like in the shape of a heart. I don't think they want it to be in the shape of a heart. Maybe they want it to be in something other. No, it does look like a heart, doesn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm really excited to try it. It's so cute. Really cute packaging. And on the back it says, made with love. Well, I'm about to put you on my face with love, baby boy and baby girl. I don't know if you're a baby boy or baby girl. I don't know what I was just saying. I'm not really going to bake, but I am just going to kind of press this into my face. It's always nerve-wracking when you're trying different products together because the foundation might work well, but then the setting powder might. Or the setting powder might work, but the foundation might not. So you just never know. But I will let you know exactly how all this lasts. But so far, I'm literally living the dream. I'm living the dream. I keep saying that at the moment, loving life and living the dream. I go through phases, but I will never ever stop calling my huns my huns. But I do want to make stun hun or hun real work. We'll say hun real a lot, I'm like, that looks hun real. I want my angels to comment down in the comment section, hun real. Comment hun real, just so I know you got to this point. If you watched up to this point, then I love you. If you got this far along, then I love you. <laughs> So comment Hunreal, because then I know you got to this point. I love you, my little Hunreal angels, my little stun huns. Oh, this powder's nice. This powder's really nice. Really soft. It's like a pressed powder, but also translucent. Well, yeah, that's what it's meant to be, Imogen, but it looks really nice on this base. I don't even know what to say, because I, I just think this is going so well. Like, it's so buzzing when I do a makeup look that I'm like, Imogen, well done. You're getting better, baby girl. Pat on the back, hun. <laughs> I think I'm obsessed with palettes, by the way. Like, I can't get enough of them. So I'm going to take this. This is new. This is the Morphe. I think it's new. It's new to me, anyway. The Morphe 9BZ. BZ. I'm going to take this colour to contour. That's what we're going to do with. But they've got a shimmer in there. They've got a banana colour. This is a really nice powder contour kit. Really nice. Nine different shades. I'm buzzing. Okay, let's give ourselves a little contour, shall we? A little cheeky... Oh. A cheeky bit too much there, Imogen. Ah! Okay, we're going to make this work, promise. Oh, we will make this work, watch me. Watch me whip. Watch me flip to the other side so I can try and make it work. Come on, Imogen. 
Just keep blending it out, it will work, promise. Well, we've gone with the heavy contour today, huns. That's what we've gone with. Don't mess up everything you've done, Imogen, all your hard work to mess up the contour. No, come on, girl. Bring it back, pat a little bit here. Watch, she's bringing it back. Huns, don't worry about Imogen Hudson here. She got this, yeah, it's fine, isn't it? I pulled it back, I pulled it back, angels. This is what happens in first impressions. You understand that you don't need that much. Remember earlier, I was like, go light, go light, because you can't take away, you can add. Oh. Did you listen to your own advice, Imogen? Yell. Still, the contour looks popping. I think the contour looks popping anyway. Wee. You know what my top tip is? See how many work? If in doubt, beauty blend it out. Just sort of pat it in and it just sort of works. Especially with that sick base because everything's working on that base. Okay, so this is a first impression because I've never done this before. So do you know what we're going to do? We're going to take the Laura Lee. Oh yeah, we're going to take this shade which Imogen's forgotten again. Oh yeah, of course I've forgotten it because it's called Scatterbrain. And I have a Scatterbrain. How ironic. Okay, so I'm going to take the Scatterbrain colour and that is what we are actually going to highlight our cheekbones with. I have a highlight but I thought, do you know what? Let's do something a little bit different. Oh, what we will do is this. Smells so nice. I normally use the rose water one, but I actually think I prefer that one. Smells so nice. Oh, with a blurry mirror again. Shock! Okay, let's just pop a bit here on here. <laughs> Laura Lee! Laura Lee. Laura Lee, girl. What? Oh my goodness. Full face of first impressions come through. Laura Lee's palette is so insanely pigmented. Look at that. And do you know why I love it? It matches our eyes. It matches the halo eye. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by a halo eye. That didn't even work, Imogen. Stop singing Imogen. No, wait. Baby, I can feel your halo eye. There you go. Now stop. Just stop. Just stop. Scatter brain. Scatter all over my face. I'm obsessed. Look at it. I'm obsessed. God, and do you know what? It doesn't even look like clumpy. It looks, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I'm so buzzing. You know when you find, oh my God, no wait, I can't even talk. I should just keep going with this because look at that. I don't know why I keep putting my hand on my chin because I'm just so excited. I'm like, finished. <gasps> I hope Beauty Bear watching this thinking, we got a good ambassador there. <laughs> They're like, yes, she found that. And I'm like, yeah, Beauty Bay Babes. Beauty Bay Babes, I've sorted a yell out. Really excited to try yet another palette. Shock. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. And it's from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place. I'm sorry, I can't stop staring at my highlight. I'm obsessed. The Juvia's Place. I love these shadows. These Juvia's Place eyeshadows are the most pigmented, I think, in the world. Well, next to Laura Lee, but I'm sorry, but I can't even deal. But which colour should we take? I don't feel like I want too much. Oh, we'll take this one. Should we mix these two together? It's probably not going to work, is it? I've never used that colour on my cheeks. But let's try. You never know until you try, angels. Okay, it's quite nice, actually, isn't it? Again, really pigmented, so you don't need a lot, but really nice, actually. It's giving me a nice little flush of colour. Flush. Oh my god, have I had that in my teeth the whole time? Have I had hot cross bun in my teeth the whole time? No. Please tell me no. Have I had hot cross bun in my teeth the whole time? No. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm not really that embarrassed because I don't really care about doing anything wrong with my angels, you're my best friends. But there's me like <laughs> I hope Beauty Bear watching this thinking, we got a good ambassador there. <laughs> Hope they're like, yes, she found that. And I'm like, yeah, Beauty Bay babes. I hope Beauty Bay loved me as an ambassador and there's me just chilling with hot cross bun in my teeth. I, I honestly, I honestly, I'm not even cutting it out. I don't care because obviously I love you all so much. Like, do is, I'm going to actually tell you what step I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry. Cute, Baby Berry. That's so cute. What a cute little name. Oh, can you imagine? Imogen. Most people would refilm that, but no. I keep all of that in for my angels because you know what? Listen, we all make mistakes. It's not even a mistake. I just got hot cross bun in my lips. It's honey. That's just me. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't cut anything out because I don't want to pretend like I get everything right because I definitely don't. But that is what makes me me, angels. If I got everything right and didn't have hot cross bun chilling in my face or fall off the bed when I'm doing a Primark call, then it wouldn't be me. These two as well. These are full face the first impression. This is Truffle from Dose of Colours. Ooh, I've tried a Dose of Colours liquid lipstick before, but not this one. Oi, oi. I love the Dose of Colours liquid lipsticks. They're really matte. They're not drying. And for someone who gets dry lips a lot, that's me, angel faces. Oh, this actually looks really nice, doesn't it? Oh, honey bees, honey bees. 
wait for that to dry, then I'm going to go in with this gloss. I'm really excited about it. It's a Dose of Colours liquid gloss. Obviously, it's a gloss. I just said that. In the colour Undressed. Ooh, Undressed. Ooh, these names. Undressed. If you were to have a liquid lipstick, what would you call the name of it? I would call it... I don't know what I would call it, but maybe I should bring one out. No, I'm joking. I wish. Can you imagine? <laughs> Imogen having her own... I would love my own liquid lipstick. Can't even deal. Even the thought of it makes me so excited. <laughs> Never happening, but I would love it so much. I've been looking in a mirror. How did you not see that you had that all over your face, Imogen? I hope you all laughed with me. Okay, this is very light, but... This is very light. It is very light, isn't it? Do you think we should have stayed with the other colour? I'm asking you, angels, as if you could shout back at me. I wish you could. If only I could phone a friend. I'd phone all of you. You know, like on what's his name? Who wants to be a millionaire? Maybe I'll take it off and put the other back on back on. Before it dries. Quick! Before it dries! Just caught a little glimpse of the highlight again there. Got an angularly yell. Okay, let's just get acting with this one. Because I think it looked nicer, Matt. And also, it's a darker colour to match the eyes. I like to match, you know. Let's say I had like a green or a bold blue on my eyes, which I love doing at the moment. I would definitely wear a pale lip. Why do I try and talk when I'm doing my liquid lipstick? Like, does anyone else do that? Honestly, it makes my whole day and whole week just getting in front of the camera and being able to talk to all of you. That is better. Let's give ourselves a little spray with the Mario Badesco and then we're actually finished. <gasps> Cute. Ba -dum -dum. Mm. Close your mouth. So, angels, this is the finished makeup look using all of these. One isn't because of the Laura Lee palette, love you babes, but I didn't use her as a highlight before, but full face of first impressions. And I'm telling you now, I will definitely write in the description how it lasts and everything like that, but let's talk through it. Highlight, obviously I'm obsessed. Used it on the lids. These lashes look so pretty and dainty and cute. This liquid lipstick, I know dose of colours, they always come through. This contour palette, no, wait, I need to talk about the base first. That base, the concealer, the foundation, and the contour, I am obsessed. RCMA? No, should I kiss you? I'll kiss you lightly. Oh, yeah. Because this liquid lipstick's dried, so it's fine. It's not going anywhere. My brows, the brow gel. I promise you, every single thing I use, I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with the blush palette. I would love to use that Saharan blush palette, actually, on my eyes and do an eye makeup look with it. I really, I promise you, this base is just giving me everything. It's so dewy. The eye makeup. Oh my god, I'm really proud of myself. I hope that you're proud of me too, angels. I really hope you like this makeup look. Please recreate it. I'd be so buzzing if anyone recreates a makeup look of mine. I'd be so buzzing because I'm like, I'm learning and then we're learning together and it's just so nice that anyone would actually think that my makeup's good enough to recreate. I'd be so grateful. Okay, let's zoom out and we'll have a chat now. Oh my little angels, I'm so impressed with this makeup look. I can't even deal. I can't deal. It's so pigmented, it's so nice, it's so shiny, it's so pretty. Oh, I really hope you like it. Please give this a massive thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I would be so grateful. I can't wait to bring you more content with Beauty Bay. I can't wait to bring you more content to my channel anyway. I just feel so... I'm not going to get emotional. I probably will because I've had a bit of an emotional week. No. Loads of emotions, but we're going to reel them in. Let's reel them in. Okay, so, if you are new here, then basically I play a song game. you just got to guess the song and I'm going to mime it. I'm going to mime it. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I've really enjoyed doing this video. I just love you all so much. Please hit the subscribe button. Join my family of Huns. I love you all so much. And I have a shout out to do. Post notification shout out today goes to Nawal and Chelsea Nicole. I love you both so much. Thank you for turning your post notifications on. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for commenting to me all the time. I love you both so much. I see you both all the time. I love you. So if you want to be in the chance for a post notification shout out, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my vlog channel where I upload weekly, sometimes twice a week. So we're buzzing. I think my vlogs are quite cool as well. I love them. And so you can see behind the scenes of when I'm filming with Beauty Bay, family videos, loads of different things, loads of different things. And also, you need to turn my post notifications on and then comment, I am a hun below. Or you can comment, stun hun. Yeah, comment stun hun, actually. That's a cute one because then you've watched the video. I love you so much. Okay, well, until next time, angels, I'm going to love you. And I'm going to go and get another hot cross bun and not get it in my teeth this time. Oh, Imogen. I'm going to love you and I'm going to leave you. Just hands. Yeah.